Yellowstone National Park has two big drawing cards. One is right over here, thermal features. It's estimated there are at least 10,000 in the park, along with half of all the world's geysers. The other big draw is animals. In this case, there are about half a dozen moose scattered out here, some bison off in the distance. But the moose, along with deer and elk, are threatened by CWD. There's absolutely no guarantee that CWD will decimate herds in the park, but if it does take down enough animals, then that could diminish the experience for tourists. It is concerning to Yellowstone and to Yellowstone biologists, so much so that we do have a plan in place. You can see that extensive plan right now on the park website. I'm gonna go back and look for the, those moose back this way. Nancy Andrew is in Yellowstone just to spot some animals. That's one of the two other animals I wanted to see that I haven't seen. I, and I want to see moose, which I just saw, and I have to want to see river otter. She's no biologist, but Nancy has heard of CWD and realizes how important it is to act quickly. Because once it, once it gets in starts, it's, there's nothing that we can do about it. There's a new focus on CWD right now because a deer with the disease was recently discovered in Grand Teton National Park and a hotspot for infections is just north of the park in Montana. Along with infected animals in Wyoming, Yellowstone is now surrounded by CWD. So we've been, um, we've been doing some intensive surveillance, which is basically testing animals, and that's testing the roadkill, the dead animals that we find throughout the park. Testing dead animals for CWD is effective, but finding living animals with the disease is more difficult. What makes CWD so difficult to manage is that infected animals are difficult to detect. Symptoms do not appear until an animal is in the terminal stages of the disease. Yellowstone is adding another step to detect the disease. We're also monitoring radio collared elk and mule deer to understand their movement, to be able to anticipate the possibility of the spread into the park. Once CWD gets into Yellowstone, and everyone we spoke with thinks that's inevitable, the park's plan moves up a notch. There will be more testing, and the public will be asked to help. We always encourage visitors, too, to let us know when they're seeing a, an animal that may not look very well. All CWD positive samples will be incinerated, and dead animals will be moved to areas where scavengers and predators can quickly clean up those carcasses. That's because Yellowstone biologists say studies indicate areas with lots of large predators, and Yellowstone has plenty, can slow the progress of the disease. I tell you, you can't beat Lamar in winter. The bottom line is that Yellowstone National Park has a plan for dealing with CWD. And if Rocky Mountain National Park is any indication, then it could be decades before animals here are affected. Along Soda Butte Creek in Yellowstone National Park, I'm John Shearer for MTN News.